if you um, were following the, what we were doing, we were in the Judengasse, the second one that was after 1350, um, we saw that there was a building being under construction. Now here it's, it, why? Because they found a mikveh in, in, an, in an old house. Um, and here it's, here is an actual picture of what it looks like. And here is a 3D of it. But if you read over here, it says it was established in Judengasse number 10 in 1409. And it was probably used until the expulsion of 1520. Um, the, kid, the rest explains what a mikveh is, but that you don't have to know. And here you can see how it was designed with the uh, Baroque uh, type of uh, style with the steps coming down and the water coming uh, from the bottom that should be a mai and that makes it a kosher mikveh. This is what it would look like. Now this was also quite interesting because when they were renovating um, renovating the mikveh, the renovating, the, sorry, the uh, uh, the parking lot, they, they, they uncovered uh, a bunch of the um, gravestones. And this one over here is a replica of one that they found. And it says, uh, this is really, this is a, 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 a lamentation on the, the Kedoshim that were killed in the Rheinfleisch massacres of 1298. In 1298, there was uh, a... Um, a nobleman or a, 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 an important person, his name was Rein Flisch. And um, since the, uh, the locals owed the Jews a lot of money, he uh, organized a pogrom which wiped out 200, uh, Jew, around 200 Jewish communities in the area, what they called then Estreich. The Maril lady calls it Estreich Eretz Adamin. In this Rein Fleisch massacre, a lot of all these communities, including this one, and also the one in um, Nuremberg, with the Mordechai lived, yeah? and there's uh, also the brother of the Malam that lived here in Rottenberg. They were killed, Al Kiddush Hashem, in the Nine Flesh massacres. And this one uh, is 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 really an eulogy and a lamentation of um, of, of of what happened to, to to those that were killed in 1298. Now, the Madame didn't survive it. We said the, the, the Madame passed away a few years before. But the Rosh, after the Madame passed away, um, in 1305, he, he, he also he ran away. He actually did run away. And he moved to Toledo in Spain. But before he left, he went around to all these communities, gave them chizuk and strength to continue on and to rebuild their communities before he left to... Um, to, to Eretz Yisrael, but that will be this, we'll discuss at a different time when we speak more about the Rosh. But that's the story of the Nine Flash. Now, if you come back over in here, first over here, this is also quite interesting. This they found, this would, this would be a, 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 a Tahara bath for, for children that passed away young. This they would use then, uh, this was also dug out over there in the, in that parking lot where the old Beisachayim used to be. Now, if we continue on over here, um, if you look around, this would be the oldest matzeva. It's very not clear, but obviously the woman's name was um, Abigail, Abigail, and, she, and the matzeva is 1266. It's one matzeva, I think. It's just uh, ah. Now this one is Abigail. This one is going to be Jungfrau Braut Esther, Tochter von der Beleze. That's Esther Bas passed away in 1290, right before the Ninth Flesh massacre. But the oldest one, where did she show us the oldest one would be? This is already after the Black Death in 1357. This is Meir Ben Shimon. Yeah. And then here you have Metzada, it was 1324, 1344. This is before the Black Death. And here you have. Uh, this is this is the one that you this is the rep that was the replica that we saw inside. This is the real one. Yeah? This is the real uh, this would be the real Mats this would be the real the, the Yiske, right? The Matsaiva that was for the Kedoshim. I guess they made a, must have made a mass grave. And the people that they didn't know, they couldn't bury one everybody separately, and they put one big Matsaiva to lament a lamentation on it. 
It writes over here, the, this memorial story reminds the greatest medieval program in South Germany, 1298, which took also place in Nuttenberg. The flourishing Jewish community was eliminated. The object was completely preserved until 1908, then disappeared and was rediscovered heavily damaged in 1981. A copy of the original formal su with supplement text is also in the section. That's what we saw over there. Ah, here's a little bit of a translation. With bitter soul, a bitter lament, because we forgot the first persecutions. In order to remember them, I carved the, the names of Nottenberg's martyrs who were killed and burned on the stone plates. Because of God's singularity in 58, according to the small census on the 19... Ah, small census means Le Plat Kuten, yeah? Yites Tamus. In the castle outside the city, because the Jews, obviously, some of them tried to escape to the castle the, 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 of, 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 the, of the Lord here in the area. In the castle of the fire was made, and they was killed young and old. On the 12th and the 5th month of, this, of, of the Sheshe Salofim, my joy, that means, I guess, the 12th of the 5th month is when? It's the year 7 Thomas of, huh? Yid buys of, and that will be 1298, that will be, uh, I forgot, uh, that would be in um, Kiev. That would be, no, that would be, that would be Nien, Nien, Nien Ches, Nien Ches, Nien Ches, Nien Tes, Le Plat, Kut, Nya. Uh, um, my joy came to an end, and on the third day he will release us. Then my Redeemer and Saint will come, Amen, Amen, Amen. I think it's missing a few words. That's why it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it, it, it's hard to, uh, yeah, this was from 1375, 1395, but if you'd come over here, these are all names, Yosef, the son of Nitranai. Nitranai is echt a real, a real name, that from Italian name. Hanani, the son of Abduvid, Vashem, the Tochter of Moshe, Rebel Yukim, Ben Rebeluza, Yosef and Shloime, Also, the children of Abel Yukim, 1379. This one from 1305. The Burech Ben the Petter. Yeah, we have in the Torah, Balatois is also called the Ben Petter. Here you have Tochter Fenebefaim. This was from 1342. 1379, 1379, 1379, 1323. But we saw one. Here it just says Bella. Okay. The only thing they could take out from the whole thing is Bella. But there was one that was even older, she showed us. Which one? Ah, no, no. There was one from the 12, from 1220 or 12, yeah, 1266. Abigail, 1266. 1266, that means when the Malam Mala was still alive, the, the Rosh was still alive, that time. Amazing. Now, if we look over here, this was also something that, because we, when we were in the Capella Street, this was the old Jewish quarter, and then in the middle of the square, there was a shul. And this shul was turned into a, into a, where the Eden were, 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 were forced to leave in 1350, after the Black Death, the shul turned into a church, and uh, it was only destroyed in, in 1945, it was bombed. And now there's only an open space in it. But this was the Capella Stadt, this was the original place. This was, the, this was a, a, a picture of what the yeshiva must have looked like. They even lived around in that area. And then this was, the, this was their main shul. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It was worth the come.